Welcome to the channel everyone, my name's Billy. My fiancée Gwendolyn and I, we bought the Chateau de la Baminier five years ago. After five years of renovation, with help from family and friends, we decided we wanted to do it again. Follow us on our journey restoring these historic buildings. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So this morning we've got a few interesting jobs to be done. Um, we're starting with one and it is removing this porch. Um, it doesn't match the style of the building and it has a lot of damage to it so I want it gone. Steve and Rick are doing the honours. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so I look forward to it being removed just because the doorway is huge and it's sort of covering it. Don't tell the wife I'm screwing on the job, will you? <laughs> <laughs> So we've brought in heavy machinery just to assist us, just in case it decides to fall down, the bucket will prevent it, hopefully. What do you reckon, Rick? It'll only be on Steve's head, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty tough, his head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
So I've donated this to Steve. He's going to use it at his own property. I'm really happy about that because it's not going to waste and it's going to get a second life. We're good. We're good. We're good. There you go, you can get well and truly hammered. Fantastic, I like the big one. Yeah, that's not the first time you <laughs> said that. I was saying I was scared, but I was freaking it. But I am so sorry, Nick. I've probably got lots of glue for you. <laughs> <laughs> During this week's vlog, you saw Duncan installing a security system. A company called Reolink approached us and said, would you like a security system for your convent? And we thought that was a great idea because currently at the convent, there's no one living here and there's nothing preventing people from intruding on the property or breaking into the property. So we said, yes, they sent over an entire system and this whole week, Duncan's been installing it. Look at that, it's crystal clear. So it's live and recording in Ultra HD 4K. It is crystal clear. I would say that's even acceptable for vlog footage. So if I ever get lazy, I can use the cameras. <laughs> I'm gonna put a link in the description to their Amazon website where you can see current promotions and offers. So thank you to Reolink. We've started work on the production office slash studio. Rick and Steve demolished the old kitchen there's so much more space now. Um, tomorrow, or, or Monday actually, no not tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday, um, we are taking out this wall. Uh, we've just got to do something to the ceiling. You can actually see the original ceiling up there and it is in really good condition. So we're gonna take that wall out. Um, the liner needs coming up, some of the plumbing needs sorting out. We need to fix some holes in walls but I'm not sure what to do with this paint. Um, it's sort of textured. It's like it's been sprayed on with these sort of like flakes. If you have any suggestions in the comments, please comment how to remove this. Maybe just sanding it would remove it. Family members have started choosing offices. Michael is going to be number 33, where he can have space for doing his prints and designs so they can all be organized and sent from here. 38 is um, still available. I think 34 might be Ryan, I'm not sure yet. I haven't confirmed with him yet. Gwendolyn is going to be 37. This is quite a nice, uh, nice space. 
and I think I'm going to use 35 and 36. Um, one can be for your equipment and one can just have a desk in for a bit of editing when I'm here. I've also got a bit of an update for you for the library. Um, one of the Rothschild family members have contacted us and they confirmed that it probably isn't from the Rothschild Chateau in Paris because during the occupation, the chateau was occupied and that particular library in the building was destroyed. Very interesting story. Um, however, she did go on to say it is entirely possible that it's come from one of the other properties around Paris because there were a lot of them. Okay. So we're currently at the rear of the property and here, buried in the overgrowth, is a huge granite trough. I don't know if you can make that out everyone, but it is absolutely massive. It's about one meter 40 or 50 in diameter. It's absolutely amazing. But what is even more amazing is that there's a pair um, further deeper in the overgrowth. There is another, I don't think you can see that. I think that's an amazing discovery. Hopefully we can move them somewhere where they're a bit more uh, noticeable rather than buried in the overgrowth. Maybe flanking the entrance out here. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? I have some more good news. Um, I've put in an order for cobbles. Um, just enough at the moment to do the entire tarmac driveway because I hate tarmac. I want it gone. <laughs> um, they're old cobbles. Um, I don't know where they're from in France, but they have a lot of them. Um, so when they arrive, we're going to take up this old tarmac and we're going to relay them with beautiful, authentic French cobbles. This part of the building which I'm currently in is two two-bedroom apartments. So you enter this small vestibule with a staircase. You have a couple of rooms which are for storage. They need a bit of work. Anyway, let's go up the staircase. All right, we're gonna go all the way to the top first. That's the first apartment. We start on the top floor and then come down. This bit of wood is holding the window closed, I believe. So here we go. This is the first apartment. It has two bedrooms. To your right, there is a toilet and the water heater. Through here is the kitchen. A huge skylight. Through here must be a dining room which is attached to a lounge. And through here, you have a very large bedroom, a small washroom, and then a second bedroom. Right, so let's just close that. Then down to the other apartment. So this one, um, is a little bit more older, the work. We've got intercom. So it's the same setup again. You have a toilet, you have the kitchen. It's in good condition though, that's what I must admit. You have a small utility room here. There is a closet which has a water heater. This again would be the dining room and the lounge or vice versa. You have another very large bedroom, another washroom and another bedroom. It's sweaty work walking around these apartments. <laughs> it's incredibly hot today. Um, they actually don't need a lot of work, especially the top one on the top floor, which has been done very recently. That was the only apartment which passed uh, the diagnostics test when we bought the building. Um, 
So yeah, it's pretty good. <sighs> We've just come out of that door and this is another apartment. I believe this is a one bed or a two bedroom apartment. Just show you in the window quickly. You can see it's actually in very good condition. Yeah, so it has a bedroom on the right, um, a lounge, and then you have a kitchen on the right. It's pretty good. There's also another apartment here. You have a door here which goes into a vestibule, which then goes into another big room. And there's also a staircase which goes upstairs, I think to one or two bedrooms. I can't remember exactly. But I'll be slowly renovating these apartments. Um, hopefully, maybe get some tenants in there to pay for this very large project, <laughs> which we still don't know what we're gonna do with. We've done loads at the convent this week. Thank you so much to Rick, Duncan, Steve, and anyone else that contributed. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys now back to the chateau and we're gonna catch up with everyone there and see what everyone's up to. Alexander so everyone this is Alexander if you don't know who Alexander is he is an Austrian wood couture dressmaker and designer dressmaker, yes. yep and Alexander has come to the chateau to help us make some curtains yes yep you've been a couple of times before yeah last last summer, last summer. yep and Alexander makes the most amazing curtains, even though it's not what he does for a living. Okay, Alexander, I'm gonna let you crack on now. Yes, I'm gonna crack on. Yeah, and I'll see you later. See you later. Yep, see you later. Bye-bye. Well, hello there, dear brother. Hello, welcome to the cottage. Michael is my brother, if you don't know who he is. You are a couple of years older than me. Two years older, yeah. Two, two years, years older and four days. Two years older and four days. And yeah. Michael has his own YouTube channel called Doing It Ourselves. Doing It Ourselves, yeah. It was Doing It Ourselves, but then you started the channel and Sadie started the channel. So now it's just me doing it myself. <laughs> yeah, my, Michael's doing himself, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just in, in the cottage. I've just... We're just packaging up the last of the orders that have been ordered to go out. Wow. Because I sell prints of my artwork. So Michael does uh, artwork. You can't really show because they've got people's addresses Oh, yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Don't show us. So, but I just want to show you quickly. I had special... This is not my logo. I had doing wow. it ourselves. These are real postage stamps we're doing it ourselves on. That's amazing. Well done. Um, so they are... If anyone's a stamp collector, make an order through doing it ourselves. Very, very doing rare. Doing it ourselves.com because you get the, you know, the only place you'll ever get these rare French stamps. I think there's only 150 in circulation at the moment. Only 150, but there, there could be some more ordered Okay. next week. So. And this uh, is a new design you're working on. Well, this is the chateau. This is your chateau, yours and Gwen's chateau. So I did a pencil drawing. Well, it's the family chateau, yes. It's the family chateau. I did a pencil drawing... Um, of the chateau, it's quite detailed. This took me a week to draw because it was mm -hmm. really intricate. If I ruin this, I've got to start all over again. So yeah. what I did is I actually 
printed out a scan of the black and white, printed it onto watercolor paper, mm -hmm. and then I painted over the printed version on watercolor yes. paper. And this is it. But you have the original. I gave it. Yes, we have the original in the guest house. Yep. But you can buy A4 prints of this on doingitourselves.com. So doingitourselves.com, you can buy the prints of Michael's. Yeah, and there's there's a pop, there's actually quite a few different designs on there at the minute. Yeah. So Brilliant. And you've got a video coming out soon, haven't you? I'm just. I, I am working on it now. Yes. The cottage has got a new staircase. It's behind you. I can't show it. Yeah, I'm not going to show you. Uh, 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 no, I won't show no, you. I won't show it because. Oh, 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 I don't want to show it's it. It's working. Oh, with some music, yeah. I was just trying to get some nice sort of B rolly shots. Like, yeah. Like here, look. So you've got this one. That's, that's lovely. The, that's the wow. Chateau's Lake. So. <laughs> okay. We'll see you later. See you later. Goodbye. Right, see you later. Thank you to everyone for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of behind the scenes what is happening at the Chateau. We got a lot of stuff done at the convent this week so I'm really really happy. Um, I will be starting daily videos again from the 1st of October. Ryan and I will be doing that so that's something to look forward to. So thank you so much for watching this week's video and I'll see you all next Sunday. <laughs>